Well, today's the day you see your psychologist, Dr. Honeywood. I know. You nervous? A little. Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It will be a safe place to talk about anything. And Dr. Honeywood is there to help you. We need to know what's going on, little Bill. Okay? Okay, Mama. Mama, can I ask you a question? Of course, little Bill. What is it? Um. Why was my show taken off the air? And why were all of my books banned from the library? You don't want to know, little Bill. Trust me. It's for your own safety. Come on. Let's get going. Mom, I just got my first period. I'm freaking out. Okay, baby. Let Alice the Great help you. I have to take your brother to the psychologist. We'll deal with this later. Bill Glover. Oh, that's me. Hold on. Do you want me to come with you? Sure. Right this way, please. You can sit in the beanbag chair if you want to, little Bill. Okay. Hello, little Bill and Mrs. Glover. I'm Dr. Honeywood. It's nice to meet you, too. How are you today? I'm doing well. I'm good. That's good. Now, Mrs. Glover, I understand that you scheduled an appointment for your five-year-old son. Yes, that is correct. You see, my son Little Bill has been misbehaving and I need to find out why. I see. Is he the only child that misbehaves? Yes. Okay. Have you tried asking him why he's misbehaving? Yes. But he said he wasn't comfortable telling me. The only person he told was his brother Bobby. He's not with me today. Little Bill, is this true? And be honest. Yeah. I didn't want to tell my mama because I was afraid of getting into trouble. So I told Bobby instead. Little Bill, listen. I'm your mother. You can talk to me about anything. Even if it's something that might make you feel uncomfortable. And just so you know, I won't always agree with it. Okay? Okay, Mama. Little Bill, would you like to tell me about yourself? Okay. Um. I like to color, play with my friends, take care of my pet hamster, go to school, and watch the space explorers on TV. Oh, okay. That sounds like fun. How do you get along with your friends? Just fine. Except. I don't think I've been a good friend. Oh. Why do you think so? Did you do something wrong? It's okay, baby. Let it all out. Thank you. It all started at my pre-K graduation. I shouted out two very bad words. Everyone was mad at me. Oh. Well, why were you shouting bad words at your graduation? Well, I heard someone shout them on the radio. And I thought it was cool. So I wanted to try it at my graduation and see what would happen. I was also mad because I didn't want pre-K to end. I see. Well, pre-K doesn't last forever, little Bill. It ends, and then you go to the next grade level. That's how school is. So what happened after you blurted out those bad words? <laughs> it's okay, little Bill. Take your time. Use the tissue if you need to. My mama dragged me in the girls' bathroom and gave me a spanking. Of course I did, little Bill. Because what you did was completely unacceptable. You embarrassed me and your father. Mrs. Glover, is this how you discipline your children? Well, yes. It is. I know it sounds harsh, but it's true. If my kids do something bad, they get a spanking. 
It's also how I was disciplined growing up. But believe me, I never want to hurt my children. I just wish they would be good for once. I understand, Mrs. Glover. A lot of parents believe that it's okay to spank their children. Others see it as child abuse, and it's not your fault you were disciplined that way. I would recommend that you try another discipline method, because spanking your child might not help. It could leave them traumatized. Well, I guess I can try something else. And you're right. Spanking my son hasn't stopped him from misbehaving. I'm so sorry, little Bill. That's okay, Mama. Next, I was in my kindergarten class. I was painting a beautiful picture. I was showing everyone my picture, but then my friend Kiku accidentally spilled paint all over my picture. Okay. What happened next? I crumbled up Kiku's painting and got sent to time out. Oh. Why did you crumble up Kiku's painting? It was an accident, right? I thought she did it on purpose, which made me mad. I didn't know it was just an accident until I got home and talked to my mom and dad about it. I see. Then what happened? Did you tell Kiku that you were sorry? No, I did something worse. I beat her up. And then you got suspended for a week. Oh my. That sounded awful. So why did you beat up Kiku? Well, the truth is, I never wanted to hurt or upset anybody. I just want attention. I want people to notice me. Plus, I used to have a TV show. Yes, I remember your show. When I found out that my show was removed from Nickelodeon and all of my books were banned, I was really sad, and I didn't understand why. What did I do? It's not you, little Bill. It's your creator, Bill Cosby. He did some very bad things, but like I said, you don't want to know. So the reason why you're misbehaving is because you want attention. Yes, I feel like everyone forgot that I even existed. I feel like I'm not good enough for anyone. But that's not true, little Bill. You are good enough, and no one forgot about you. You are special, just like everyone else. You don't have to cause trouble to get attention. I don't. Of course not, baby. I taught you better than that. Now, what about all that violence and swearing you heard on TV and on the radio? One night, I couldn't sleep, so I went downstairs to get some water. Then I saw Dad watching TV. That's when I heard it, and I once heard my dad changing the radio station. I heard it too. Oh my goodness! So it was your father that caused it. I'm so sorry, little Bill. I'll have a talk with him afterwards. You okay, baby? Yeah, I feel much better now. That's good. I'm glad that seeing a psychologist helped you open up. Now, I want you to be a good kid. No more causing trouble. Do you understand? Yes, Mama.